Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef, aka Beefy Boy. This recipe is going to be really simple. It's just braised chuck roast, but trying to get it to taste as good as it possibly can. I am using the leftovers to make Carnivore Shakshuka over on my Instagram if you're interested in checking that out. If this video gets 250 likes, I'll make a full length video on how to make a chuck roast shakshuka. Anyways, let's jump right into this one. Here, I have about a three pound dry aged chuck roast from Triangle Livestock. Go check out their shop, the link is in the description below. Let's grab a deep pan and season it up with the best salt on the planet. Heavily salt on all sides before bringing it over to a ripping hot grill to get our sear on. Toss it on and sear on all sides. The biggest reason I'm doing this over a char grill is for the flavor. I hear a lot of people say that you want to sear a roast before braising to lock in the juices, which is just not true. You're doing this because you want the brown marks which are going to get all brown and maiority, which is going to add to the depth of flavor. Get this back into your deep pan, and if yours has a bone, place the thickest side down so marrow can seep into your broth. Speaking of broth, place a two quart pot over medium high heat with six cups of fresh cold water. Here I have something called beef base. It's heavily seasoned beef stock concentrate and you'll need two big tablespoons of it. Feel free to use your own homemade broth, box broth, or even just water for your roast. Beef base is gonna be the next best thing to your homemade broth in my opinion, but no matter what you use, make sure you heat it up first. We don't want to try to boil cold liquid in the oven. Once heated, pour over your roast. Now let's add in a couple more things. One tablespoon of whole peppercorns. And one teaspoon of dried thyme. I added just a touch more salt to mine as well. Okay, remember I was talking about locking in moisture? Here's how you actually do that. Wrap the top of your pan with cling film first and then top that with a piece of foil. If you're uncomfortable with having plastic in your oven, it's understandable. Also, I wouldn't recommend going to restaurants because this is a pretty common practice. Place this into an oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I know that feels like a long wait, but it's worth it. If you want a longer wait, you could do the same thing in a crock pot for four hours on high heat or eight hours on low heat. After the allotted time, carefully remove this from the oven While we're still being careful, remove the foil and plastic. The steam will burn you if you have your hand over it. Just don't ask me how I know. This is what should happen when it's done. The meat pulled right off and pulled apart with ease. If there's a bone, it should pull right off too. All right, enough of touching our hot meat. Let this cool off for a few minutes before digging in. Now, I could just stop the video here, but I wanna show you what I like to do with chuck roast. I typically treat mine like pulled pork, what I'm going to do is slice it first and then chop it with a cleaver. I don't like the long shreds and I just want some more bite-sized pieces. After I chop it up, I set it aside and deal with my delicious broth. There's a good bit of fat floating atop this broth, which is fine. It's just extra calories, but the fat alone doesn't have flavor. You could skim this off or throw it in the fridge to harden, and then you'll have a nice piece of beef tallow. I'll just take mine and ladle in about a half cup of the fat and broth to begin to reduce. Chuck roast has a lot of connective tissue in it and that collagen gets into the broth. Once it's reduced by half, add in a good six to eight ounces of your meat and continue cooking until there's not much visible liquid left in the pan. Plate this up and add a single stem of parsley for a fancy presentation. All right, let's get down to business and take this first bite, which is for my Patreon community. If you're interested in joining, the link is down in the description below. This beef bussin', as the TikTok kids probably don't say anymore. I'm gonna take this to a dark corner and enjoy the sinful plate alone. You should hide in a dark corner too and like the video and subscribe. Mm -hmm.